www.greatchallenge.blogspot.com I am back with my January Ipsy Glam Bag. This is the 2015 edition. I just got this in the mail about three days ago. I don't know why I'm getting them a little bit later than I used to, but this time around I got it on the same day on my Echo Amy, so I can do them back to back today. Very happy about that. Let's go dive right into it. Not familiar with Ipsy Glam Bag. It's a, a simple subscription box for makeup and cosmetics and skincare. You pay $10 a month. The reference link is down below. And you can do reviews every time you do a review on an item that you've purchased or an item that you've received. You get points and you can use the points towards free stuff. Here's the bag this time around. I hate it. I don't like the bag. I like the shape. You know me. I like them when they have the zip on the top. But I just don't. I hate the color. It's just the weirdest color combo it's like a apricot with uh, royal blue and cream white mm, now nah, and for the uh, kind of like a fake safiano leather type look that's the worst bag I've gotten so far so this one is probably not gonna stick around but let's look at what's inside of it um let's go fresh that's the theme this month. I like the little card, but again, and I say it, I think almost every time, I really wish they would tell you a little bit about the item and the prices um, on the back of the card. Ecoemi does that, I like that about Ecoemi. All right, anyway, so here are the items I received this time around, and there's always five items, and I think this is mostly makeup. Here we go. Five items, and it looks like there's a lot of full sizes. I'm gonna start with the skincare one, this is Malin and Guts Mojito Lip Balm. Here we go. So this is just a, uh, um, I guess, a daily protection, soothing treatment, fatty acid absorption technology. Okay, and I'm assuming this is a full size, so that sounds good. It's got a slanted um, tip. I'm going to try it. Doesn't have much of a scent. It's just a, uh, it's just a lip balm, really. It's nice. Um, it feels very fluid. It's not tacky. No taste. Totally, totally tasteless. No fragrance. Nothing. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll keep it. I've received something else from them um, a couple of months ago, and I think it was a face cream or something like that. And I thought it was just alright, but I'm happy to try this. It's a full size. That's going into my purse. The next item is this Hikari eyeliner. Comes in its own little box, and I'm going to assume this is a full size as well, which is pretty cool. And I think the color is Storm. Did I say that? Storm. Don't know what color that is. Um, there we go. Hikari. Never heard of them. Okay, it's one of those that you twist up and what color is it? it looks like a silver gray and see it pretty neat and yeah hickory all right so let's do a swatch for that one it's a little pale but it's a silver gray I don't know if you can see the shimmer on it um doesn't yeah it is a shimmer all right let's see if it's got any kind of stay on Payoff is pale to me, but it stays on pretty good. I mean, I'm rubbing. Yeah, it's still on there. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited to try that. I have a couple of gray eyeliner. I actually uh, use them quite a lot. Sometimes I use them under um, another eyeliner. Kind of like, you know, mix them a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Hickory Eyeliner in Storm. Pretty neat. Next item is... Velvet 59 by Keris Manning. Never heard of that brand. I'm hoping you can see that. It's a full size, obviously. It looks like a... I like the packaging. It reminds me of the uh, the Milani um, packaging. So the color is Noisette, which is pretty much hazelnut. And it comes as a uh, brush, not a dual pad, if you know what I mean. Let's try the color right now. It's a, um, yeah, it's just lip gloss. Very, very nude, almost transparent or translucent. Kind of like it. All right, so let's put it over this again. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I just want to try the formula. Very fluid. 
no tacky. You know what? This is almost like the same than this. It's a, uh, um, yeah, it's just lip gloss, really. But it's a, uh, um, I like the fact that it's a brush and not a, a, a doe foot, um, only because you can get better precision with it. But it does feel heavy. Maybe because I have the other one on my lips already. Um, I don't know. I have to see it without any lipstick to get some kind of color payoff. But right now, the way I look look at it, it's just like a very, very faint uh, beige. Um, I'm not sure if it really translates from what's in the tube. You see that? Alright, so it's cool. I'm still going to use it. And... It comes with this thing here that you can use as a mirror. I always like this and this one too. So that's pretty cool and practical. Next one is, ugh, I already got one of those and I didn't like it. This is a Pacifica eyeshadow. I think I got in my Echo Amy last year a, um, a duo. And I was all excited because it was like a, um, a mother of pearl color and a purple and they were so dry. I just didn't like them at all. This is Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow. The color I receive is Ethereal. Let's see if I can get it out. It doesn't look like it. Okay, here we go. It's like a champagne color, I guess. Is that the color? Ethereal, yeah. All right. Here's the color. I can't tell from here if it's got a shimmer or not. Very, very faint. It feels a little bit creamier. Oh yeah, it definitely feels creamier than the other one I received. So here's the color right here. Oh, that's pretty. You see that? It's like a champagne kind of color. It would be beautiful as a base on your uh, uh, bro arch. I'm going to put it right here. So you can get a kind of like a first impression. I can't tell what I'm doing. It's too far. That's actually cool. This one is better than the other one I received. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, it feels creamier. It's got some good payoff for the color and it stays on. Not so much. Yeah, no, it does. It does stay on. So that's good. Um, definitely a good color as a base and um, as a, a bro arch, maybe if you want the corner of your eye or on the sides here. Pretty cool. Wonder how it does when you mix it with another color. Um, next item and the last is, yes, a brush. This is an Elizabeth Mott all over shadow brush. Cutest, cutest color. Pink and purple, my favorite. Let's try that right now. Should have tried that. Should have opened that first. I could have tried the shadow with it. Um, oh, this is nice. Very similar to the crown brush. Very, very dense. Look at this seriously dense I like this and it's small enough to use as a uh, um, a brush in a travel bag oh it's wonderful I'm gonna have to check them out see the prices on those I love crown brush they sent me a crown brush a couple of months ago I fell in love with it even though it was dual sided I ended up buying a whole bunch of them in the series and this one is Elizabeth Mott all over shadow very practical like it look at this very nice I think that's it one two three four five all right just so to recap lip gloss or lip balm rather um, eyeliner in uh, storm silver gray color not much of a payoff but nice there's this um, Pierce Manning velvet 59 lip gloss I like the container a lot I'm not sure about the color payoff on this nice eyeshadow from Pacifica um, these are organic and all of that good stuff is that it rich lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut for velvety finish it is a better finish than the other one that I received so the coconut eyeshadow natural mineral is is the one I would recommend if you're gonna shop for Pacifica this one I really like actually I like the color and it was the color was ethereal I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right here we go and then the last item was this uh, Elizabeth Mott um, brush so again this is ten dollars a month look at all the stuff I received it's really worthy I mean all this stuff is way more than ten dollars trust me and the shipping is included I like this bag um this month was very very good I think I'm gonna like every product definitely gonna use every single one of them for once sometimes I get like a, a, a skincare item I won't use at all or I just try it out and then I, I toss it so yeah this was an excellent bag 
Um, again, this was January 2015 for Ipsy Glam Bag. The full review of all of the products I received last month is on my blog. The link is down below if you want to check it out. And then at the end of this video, I'm putting all of the links for all of the Ipsy Glam Bags that I've received and reviewed, every Ecoemi box that I received and reviewed, and of course my Swatches and Stuff series. All right? Thank you for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye!